Travis and I are right back at you with video number seven. seven, okay? And this time before we start the video, we're going to do a little visualization activity. I'm going to say two words. I want you to close your eyes to see what image comes to mind when I say these two words, okay? Let's go. The first word is God. The second word is Africa. Okay? If this is the first image that came to your mind, and this is a second image that came to your mind, this is the reason why we need African-centered education. Because there's only one reason anybody of African descent would believe that this was God or that this represents Africa. And the reason is what? Because white lives matter. Because white lives matter. And I don't care what you say, what you want to believe, how you want to stand up. If anybody of African descent believes that this is the face that represents God and this is the face that represents Africa, you only do so because white lives matter. How do we correct this? African-centered education. There is no way an African gave another African an image of God that looked like this initially. Where did this image come from? White people. White people. Why would a white person give us an image of God that looked like them? Because they want us to think that white people are the best. Absolutely. Absolutely. Why would someone teach their children that this is the image of what God looks like? Because uh, because white people told us their ancestors and it's going to keep on passing on in the family. It's going to keep on passing on in the family unless what? Unless somebody stops them. Unless somebody stops them. African-centered education will eradicate this image of God from being in any of our uh, visualizations or any of our children. This is not the image that represents God. This is not the image that should represent Africa. The only reason you believe this image represents Africa is, again, because white lives matter. This is not the image that represents Africa. Who gave us this image of Africa? Again, why would white people give us this image of Africa? Because they want to think that white people are the best. The best, and they want us to believe what else, Eileen? They want us to believe that that's all that Africa has. That's all, that's all that Africa has. Very good, a starving children. Is this all that Africa has? No. What else does Africa have? Africa has diamonds. Diamonds. Gold. Gold. Uh, Copper. Copper. Iron. Iron. Salt. Cocoa beans. Cocoa beans. Absolutely. So, guys, we have to stop this. And the only way to eradicate this is through African-centered education. The video is going to be continued at the African Symposium, Family Symposium. Those of you all who have already registered, me and Mel, to see you all next weekend. Those of you all who have not, go to African Family Symposium, like the page, get the details, and then we'll see you there. We're asking the families, the adults, to contribute $100 and all the kids are free. All the workshops, all the sessions, everything, all the meals are all included, family. Please bring your children out to see what we need to do to teach our children the truth. And we're only going to get that done through African-centered education. Black power.